This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at GDC 2019. To my immediate right is Julien Lacour. He's lead programmer for Innerspace. And Innerspace is doing really amazing things with virtual reality escape rooms. Now, uh, before we go into what a VR escape room is, let's talk about what a regular escape room is. What is a regular escape room? Regular escape rooms are places where players are uh, invited to solve puzzles uh, within a limited amount of time. They actually have to escape a room where they are often closed inside. Um, and to, to do so, they have to solve uh, puzzles or find objects or solve riddles, for instance. So I know they're really popular at birthday parties. I know my son went to one and it was like you had to do all kinds of math work and you had to find different hints in the room and finally you get keys and eventually you're able to get out of the room with us, the escape room. Yeah. But you've got a, Inner Space has a new twist on this, which is the, a virtual reality version of escape room. So, so what's Inner Space doing in the escape room world? So we've worked on a project that's called the Corsos Curse, which is basically taking an escape room into VR. That means that we are able to bring the player into a world that you, we would have no way to construct in the real world. So you can use keys as well, but you can also use things that are non-real um, or bring players um, into a location that offers them a perspective um, that doesn't exist on Earth. So in this case, I tried like I was trying to escape a pirate's room. So it's like a pirate ghost, and I had to find different things in the room to figure out how to get out of the room. Which, by the way, I didn't get out of the room. I didn't succeed at the game, but it was a, it was a lot of fun. And uh, I gather it gives you hints. Like so, so maybe you could talk a little bit about the gameplay. Just use this as an example. So how do you go about playing the game? So the gameplay is very similar to real life, uh, if I can say so, real life escape rooms. Except that uh, usually, um, since it's a limited, uh, since players have a limited amount of time to escape the room, it is customary to give them hints every once in a while. Uh, the difference from regular escape rooms is that VR allows us uh, to guide the players through an actual in-game character. So it's not a game master that's outside the experience that sort of breaks the immersion, um, bringing you clues. It's an in-game character who is following you from the start that can help you progress uh, or just uh, tell you things about the world you're uh, immersed in. Okay, good stuff. Now, I, I think you mentioned this in passing, but just to be sure, normally when you participate with an escape room, it's not just one individual, I suppose it could be, but it's really a lot of fun when there's a bunch of people in the same room trying to figure out the problem together. It, it, is there a collaborative opportunity here? And what I mean by that, is there more than one person playing the, the game at the same time? Absolutely, yes. The Corsos Curse is designed to be played by from two to four people at the same time. Of course, they will have to collaborate to solve the different puzzles. At the beginning of the experience, uh, the, the players are divided up into two teams. Um, the, two, the two players in each team uh, play the adventure together, but at some point, they, all of them will have to collaborate if they want to solve and break the Corsos Curse. Okay, good stuff. Now, uh, is this a scenario where this is used in, let's say, a virtual reality arcade? Or do you see it something where people are playing at home, but they happen to be playing with other people in other parts of the world? So, so is this really for home or pe multiple people playing in, let's say, a virtual reality arcade? At the moment, it is really for um, location-based, uh, loca uh, sorry. Out of home entertainment or location-based. Uh, location-based venues um, or arcades. Um, the thing is, uh, the game is designed to be played with um, backpack uh, computers okay. that allow you allow you to live a untethered VR experience. Um, you actually you are actually allowed to walk uh, on the. I was going to say in meters. Yeah, well, Sorry. We're in a we're in a big space here, so like several meters in each direction. But the point is, like this is a very wide space, and this is kind of what it's designed for. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. Well, really exciting stuff. Uh, I, ha I know I had a lot of fun with it. Um, it. Do you know if it's installed yet in different parts of the world yet, or is it just it's just being released now? Where, what state is it in? Yeah, the game has actually been released in one venue in Paris, where you can uh, try it right now, and maybe soon in many more. Okay, very good. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. This is Neil Schneider for MTBS-TV at GDC 2019. We will, of course, be back with more. Thank you for watching.